Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andriana Seymour and this is my video series about changes in Photoshop in the 2021 update. In today's video, we'll be going over facial age and hair thickness uh, with different genders and different ages. Before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified when I post a new video. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna make an image a little smaller here. So um, you can see I have two um, different people, obviously a female and male. And I think with the uh, new uh, Neural filters, um, what's pretty cool is that if I go to the filters and I decide to um, work with Smart Portrait, and then I go to um, Facial Age, um, it can either make someone older or younger. Now, look, not too many people want to look older. Most of the time people want to look younger. So, I mean, this is kind of a, just a fun uh, application, except that you can use it in a way that can make um, your retouching a little bit better. So the first person that we're going to start with is uh, my buddy Joe here, who absolutely can't stand that I'm using his photo in a tutorial and making himself uh, look older. He is an actor, so um, I guess making him look older, he's not too fond of, but enough about Joe. Let's get to um, working with this image, All right? I just hit F for my full screen. You can see here that um, I first uh, retouched his face a little bit, so I'm just going to always add smooth um, and blur. And then uh, later I applied his age, okay? So now if I turn this on and off, I'm just going to group this together. You can see, wow, like that he looks like uh, he's going to be playing an old man in a movie. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, the first thing you want to do, I'm just going to get rid of this, is that you're going to be going to your uh, filter, your old filters. You're going to go to your uh, beta filters. You're going to go click on Smart Portrait. And I'm not going to go over the other... Um, section of uh, smoothing and blur because we did that the last time. So um, if you want to know how to do that, just check out the video before this one and you'll be able to see what we did with the um, facial retouching. Okay, so facial age. I click on facial age. Okay, I'm going to, to the right and make him younger. To the left, I'm gonna make him younger. So I'm gonna go opposite this time. Let's make him a little bit younger. Now look, I can make him really young. Let's see what that looks like. Again, this takes time, so I'm gonna speed up the process here. Okay, so uh, I sped that process up slightly because it does take some time. I feel that facial age does take a little bit longer than the other ones. So um, this is Joe uh, now looking younger, but let's turn this on and off. Uh, yeah, I would say probably took off maybe 20 years. Uh, so I don't want poor Joe. He's going to get so depressed. I'm making him look 20 years younger or 20 years older. He's going to totally hate me. So hopefully he doesn't see this, this video. Okay. So we're just going to make him not so young. Maybe he looks refreshed. Maybe he had a nice relaxing vacation. He's a new man, really relaxed. And he's going to look like, uh, this as soon as the spinning wheel goes round and round again, I'm going to fast forward. There we go. Okay. So let's toggle that back and forth. Okay. So, you know, I think that looks a little bit better, right? A little smoother. Okay, fine. You know, you can see here, it cleaned up the hair. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to give hair a little bit, give Joe a little bit more hair. I'm not going to go opposite because then he's going to totally hate me. So let's go give him more hair to the right. You know, one thing I would hate to be is an actor. I would hate to constantly have to be concerned about my look. Speaking of looks, did you guys see my nice earrings? I wore them special for everyone today. Since I have nowhere to go, I figured I'll show you guys my cool earrings that I got. All right, so um, the wheel's going round and round. Again, you have to be a little bit patient with these filters. Okay, so how does that look? Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I am gonna not make him so young. Let me just maybe Minus seven, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna export this as a new layer as soon as it stops. 
Okay, so this is Joe. I'm just gonna call this layer called, he is refreshed. Not younger, just refreshed. All right, so here we go. That is him. Now, I do have to say it is a little funky in here with, with the hair. So if you feel like you see something that you're not really fond of, um, what you can do is you can uh, click on the mask, right? And you can hit B for brush, make sure that your leading swatch is black, and then you can come in here and you can just mask, you know, kind of mask that away a little bit, just to kind of blend this in a little bit more. Okay, maybe that does look better. Okay, so you can see here, um, yeah, it looks slightly better. Um, but I am going to go over hair later on in some other episodes. Right now, I'm just focusing on um, the age and the um, hair, adding hair or taking away hair. So that is Joe. Now let's take a look at uh, my friend Susan. So women, um, I'm sure, just like men, uh, are someone who does not, are not really fond of making them look uh, older. So what we're going to do, though, um, is I am going to show you just what the filter can do. Old and what it can do uh, being at looking younger. Okay, so again, I'm going to hit facial age. Now, I guess when you're looking at your image and you have to decide what it is that you're trying to do or accomplish, um, this image we're going to be working with a little bit more uh, down the road when we're going to be working with the um, refined hair. Uh, I think this is a perfect image to do that with. Um, so when I go to facial age and well, here's the thing that's tricky with, with women, you don't, especially older women, your goal is not right. Your goal is not to necessarily make them look younger because I think society already puts that pressure on us to <laughs> look younger. But what you want to do is just kind of clean up the face. So for this particular image, same thing, I probably would have gone into the um, first I would have gone into the skin smoothing. Um, first, I would have retouched some of this hair, then skin smoothing, and then I would go into the smart portrait and go into facial age, just do a slight uh, minus, maybe I'll just do a slight minus, you know, five. And we can see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see here just just a slight facial age of minus five. I mean, it does really just smooth things out. What I like about this is that in conjunction with the other um, filter is that it does also affect not only the face, but it also affects the hair. So that's why I like this touch, even if you just do a slight adjustment. Um, but what I'm going to do, and I'm going to say this um, in all compliments, is if you want to really make people look old, okay, I think you have to word it in a way of saying, hey, look, you're going to be such a good looking person. Uh, older person. Just look how hot you're going to look when you are 90 years old. So that's what I'm going to say here to Susan is Susan, you know, you're going to look like such an amazing woman for your age. Right. And look at that. Right. So here you go. She is now, uh, a lot older. I, I, you never say a woman's age, so I don't know what age she is, but she is a lot older. Um, and you can see there are a little bit of problems here down around the neck and around the hair, but, um, you know, I think she looks good for her age, right? Um, now, with Susan, she doesn't have hair thickness problems, but let's see what would happen if we take away some of her hair. Now, again, you know, use this cautiously. Um, you know, maybe you're dating somebody and you want to see what they look like. Oh, this is a good way. Maybe you're dating somebody and you want to marry them and you say, okay, let me see what they're going to look like when they're 80 years old. Use this app. <laughs> and then they can tell you, who your significant other is going to look like later on. So this is what I said, remember in the beginning when I talked about these new filters, this is the creepy part of Photoshop. Um, but you know, I guess you can make it not so creepy uh, by just constantly complimenting your lovely subjects. Uh, you know, everyone's always afraid when I take their picture of like what tutorial am I going to be in? So um, there we go. So. I'm going to actually bring that back to more hair. Now with, with Susan, cause she does have a full set of hair. Um, you know, this 
um, filter probably won't work as well. Oh, there we go. That looks nice. She has a much set, fuller set of hair. I'm going to actually make Susan go back to her younger state. Just as a side note, talking to my buddy, she, she's off camera. You can't see him. But, uh, but I was just saying that the filters here, um, are downloaded from the cloud. So if you don't have good internet, uh, this could possibly be a problem. Um, or if you're on the Wi-Fi. So I think having a pretty fast computer and having um, good internet is important to, to use these filters. Um, okay, so that looks good. So here's Susan. She, you know, just looks normal. She doesn't look too young. She doesn't look too old. Um, I've given her a little bit of a full body hair. It's just a little too much for me. So I think too, when you're doing these filters, some filters you have to use in moderation um, based on your subject. Um, and based on what it is that you need to get done, because if you're doing actors headshots, for example, right, like you don't want to make them look too old or too young because when they show up on set, they're going to be like, who's this guy? This isn't the guy we looked at. So again, everything in moderation. Okay, great. So now this is Susan on and off, right? So what does it do? It just really just smooths everything out. Um, so later on, we are going to talk about the um, hair refinement, but I'm going to just show both of these images side by side. Here's Joe. Okay, so again, here's, here is both Joe and whoop. And Susan. And there we go. Here you have it. Um, thank you for watching. Do let me know if this video is helpful to you in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next episode of Photoshop 2021, where I will be going over facial expressions and makeup transfer. So make sure you subscribe and see you soon.